going into, you know, push harder and harder. When you're in a tough situation, you just gotta push, you just gotta work your way out of it, you know? Blue collar Chicago mentality, fuck that. Cause that shit never works. Looking back at these past two, three years of my life, there's been so much crazy shit that's happened. So many humbling experiences, you know, a lot of fucking L's, a lot of L's taken in this last year and you know, the last two, three years in this last year, especially. A lot of L's taken. Today, I took an L, I'm not even gonna lie. I was at the gym and you know, I just got done with my cut. So I've been, I've been eating maintenance calories this week. Um, just trying to get my head right. You know, taking the social media break um, has really forced me to think about a lot of stuff. And one of the things I kind of realized was like, I was going a little bit too hard on the cut. And I was like, you know what? I have to stop it here because I'm developing like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm what am I doing this for? At a certain point, you know, I went into the cut so that I could better set up a bulk, not so that I could get on fucking stage. So I decided to, you know, end the cut, eat at maintenance calories for a while while I reverse diet my way up. And I've been feeling a lot more energy, a good amount more energy. And it made me really wanna go into the gym and, you know, kill shit. So, you know, along with the stress that I've been having over the past couple of days, just from cutting out social media and being in my own thoughts, um, I really just wanted to go in and kill shit as, as some stress relief today. Uh, but when I went in, you know, I'm not even gonna lie, first thing I kind of fucked up, tweaked my back. I was going too hard, I wasn't recovered, my body still has not adapted in strength to that amount of calories. And, you know, I thought it would have, and I, I tweaked my back a little bit. And on top of that, I was just weaker. So I was like, you know what, I'll just cut the work out here. And that had me pissed off because, you know, I, I took the fuck ton of pre-workout. Um, but I was able to take that L and not continue to push through the workout and do some dumb shit. And that's something that would have really bothered me in the past. You know, I'm not gonna lie, that kind of fucked up the last couple hours for me. And then I had to take a walk, meditate, get my head right in order to regather myself from that. I know you're probably thinking like, what the fuck dude? Like you just, it's a bad workout, whatever. You know, my back hurts a little bit, but you know, dude, it's a bad workout, take your L. Well, on top of my back hurting, this is something that, you know, lifting weights is, is like the only thing I have right now. And for a long time, it was, it was the same way. And going through all the injuries that I've gone through, this, whenever I tweak some shit, it would always discourage me so much. Like when I was on my road to recovery, you know, prior to this last year, when I was in college and I like had nothing but the weights, I would tweak some shit and then I would just get discouraged. And then I would fall off of everything. I would fall off the diet. I would fall off of my sleeping habits. I would fall off of my mental health. And I'd be like, you know, what the fuck am I really doing with my life? Cause this is all I have and I can't even do this. And it makes you feel like less of a man too when it's when, when when the one thing that you want and that gives you that sense of masculinity is taken from you when the one thing that gives you that sense of pride is taken from you it's like your it's like your energy is just stripped from you you know take whatever you guys love whatever is your passion imagine if it was just stripped from you at a point where it was the only thing you had you know, whether that be fucking, I don't know what the fuck it is for you, art, music. Imagine if 
you know, sports. Imagine if it would just rip from you when you had nothing else. And I'm not gonna lie, that shit really pissed me off today. And that's something that would have, that, 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 that's something that used to would have ruined the whole week, the whole month. But I've learned not to handle it like that anymore. You know, right before recording this video, I had to take a walk just to clear my thoughts. And man, I keep walking past different homeless people. I walk past this, this homeless guy today and I try and avoid him because he's talking to himself all pissed off and shit. Like, you know, you know how they are, fucking walking around and stopping. I'm like, man, let me just go the other way. I go down the street, he comes down the other street right next to me, picking up trash, fucking kicking shit, yelling to himself. And like, it just had me thinking, you need to learn how to take an L. You need to learn how to drop your ego. You are where you are right now, just fucking accept it. Cause you're not making any progress by fucking complaining. You're not making any progress by being pissed off. You're not making any progress by just pushing harder and harder. That's a mindset that I've kind of fallen into. You know, push harder and harder. When you're in a tough situation, you just gotta push, you just gotta work your way out of it, you know? Blue collar Chicago mentality, fuck that. Cause that shit never works. You know, I, I, I never read the art of war, but I do know one thing. You don't just fucking go in with your guns blazing. That's something I've learned, trying to constantly push myself. That's that's some dumbass shit I would've used to do when I fucked my back up. Just keep going back and trying to go back to the same movements that fucking bothered it. And just pushing them harder, pushing through the pain. Well, I fucking pushed through the pain. I guess it's not that bad. It's not about that shit, guys. I've taken so many L's in this last year, going from, you know, in this last two years, three years really, going from graduating from college, being addicted to Xanax, graduating, getting a job, not making a single penny at that job, going to the next job, making 14 an hour, stapling papers, them telling me I'm not good enough, they don't have any faith in me, my self-confidence, self-esteem getting ruined, me getting pissed off, me, my back pain on top of that, me giving up on the weights for a period of time, I took three, four months off and just didn't even lift weights. I was swimming. Then me almost going completely broke, almost going homeless, leaving that job, becoming a personal trainer, making 16 an hour. Wearing Haynes wife beaters every single day. Eating chicken and ramen every single day. Never going out, never spending my money on anything outside of the basic living expenses and barely being able to afford that. All my friends damn near stabbing me in the back. All the people in my life damn near stabbing me in the back, throwing dirt on me, throwing shade on me. Not knowing what I'm really going through, but wanting to act like they know exactly what I'm going through and act like it's not shit. 
because when they can undermine your struggle, they can undermine your character and they can undermine your success. Damn near all that happening. You know how fucking ego shattering that was on so many different levels, on so many different times. Having lifting weights stripped from me and having to fucking go off lifting weights, having to just be in the pool for three months and then having to do another three months just straight mobility work. Every dude at, in the gym looking at me like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Going from college graduate to broke to living on his own and then parents then going broke and then your parents tell you don't come back home right as you're at the bottom right as you're broke all your friends leave you at the same point cross you Damn near all your friends cross you. And then you're a personal trainer making 16 an hour. Broke as shit. Then you build your way up. You leave and you're broke again. Now I'm without a job, struggling again, trying to get into contact with these bullshit employers. My point is guys, I've taken so many L's. My ego has been crushed so many times. And one thing I've learned is that you gotta be able to take that on the chin like a fucking man. And it's not about, let me outwork this. Sometimes it's about, let me take a step back. That's what's really tough. It's not about just plow forward. It's about, let me take a step back. Let me take a step back and drop my ego. Let me examine the situation for what it is and act logically, not emotionally. Let me, let me act proactively rather than react because I used to be a straight reactive person, react to every situation. Oh, my job's not paying me enough, man. Let's do this. Work. Show them, show them that I'm doing more and more. Let me do all this other bullshit to prove to them that I am worthy. Let me do all this other bullshit for my friends to prove them that I am a good friend. Let me do all this other shit for my parents to prove to them that, that I am a good child. Oh, I fucked up my back. Let me just let me just go back at it. Let me just keep keep grinding. No. You got to be able to take a step back and adapt. You got to act smart. You got to think logically. You got to examine this shit like it's a fucking war. If 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 in war, you just strike back. You are on the defensive the whole time because you are reacting off the enemy. But if you take the loss, you take the loss in that battle and then you sit back and you do some shit that's unexpected and you, you, you don't do shit, you sit back and then boom. That's really what it's about. It's really about being able to drop your ego That's what I had to do to that. I had to drop my fucking ego, leave the gym. Say, you know what? You know, I just took a recovery session earlier this week where I had to leave the gym early because I felt that that workout and I thought I would be ready for it today. I still wasn't ready. So I had to take that L again today. And this time it hurt not, not only because I fucked up my back, but also because it was the second time in a row. And a lot of us, I, for myself, 
you gotta be able to learn to take L after L after L after L after L after L before you finally fucking triumph, before you finally fucking attack. It's not about let me try and post more content to get this shit to grow quicker. It's about let me just stay consistent with the amount of effort I'm putting in. Let me take a step back and examine myself. Because if I'm not at my fullest potential, how the fuck is my channel going to reflect that? If I'm not really practicing what I preach, then how the fuck is it going to come across genuine on my channel? How am I going to help other people if I can't even lead myself? So let me not, let me try and not outwork the poverty. Let me not try and outwork the back pain. Let me not try and outwork and prove to all these other people that I am doing something. Let me not try and just put in more and more. Let me take a step back. Let me drop my fucking ego. Let me forget the current situation and focus on the future. It's all mindfulness. It's all about being able to get out of that present moment. No matter what type of fucking situation you're, you're in, being able to get out of that present moment, disassociate yourself from all the emotions and the headspace you're currently in and recognize that this is all temporary and recognize whether or whether or not you are on the path that you need to be to get where you want to be in the future. It's all part of the plan. It's gotta be, it's gotta be all part of the plan. You gotta be able to drop your ego. You gotta be able to take an L. You gotta be able to take multiple Ls back to back to back because an L is not a loss. Every time it's a lesson. You can't let those L's define you. You have to define them. You have to be on the proactive, not the reactive. And in order to be able to do that, you have to be mindful of your current situation and how those things are affecting you. Some of you guys, man, I got clients who fuck up on their diet once and they fuck up on their diet and that's it for the whole week. Oh, Finn, I fucked up and then I ate the whole cake and then I ate the, the Oreos and you know, I messed up on Saturday. So it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. No. got to be able to take that L to the chin. You got to be able to disassociate yourself from that moment. You got to be able to disassociate yourself from all the feelings. You got to be able to disassociate yourself from the hate of others. You got to be able to disassociate yourself. You might, this shit might go on for years, fellas. You might gotta deal with the same bullshit for years from the same people. You might gotta deal with the same fucking situations for years. That's what I've been having to do. But what I used to do is get mad about it. Now I just take everything to the chin and learn how to adapt to it. Because when you're on the defensive all the time, you will fucking lose. So, that's it.